Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Bonner here, Overtime Athlete. So, last video I made for you guys was about a kind of mobility um, circuit I do for my guys that really focuses on the hips. Again, um, really what I'm looking for when I kind of put together anything mobility. Again, mobility isn't my strength, but I know enough of it to be able to support my guys, I have enough base. Um, really what you're focusing on, what I tend to focus on, especially when you're in a group setting, unless I'm working with somebody individually and know their specific needs, when group setting you're typically focused on the common muscular imbalances when it comes to upper cross and lower cross syndrome. Um, for, low, for upper body, the one that I wanted to show you guys and share with you guys is essentially a series of static stretches again and a series of kind of shoulder or mohab, mobility, prehab, dynamic drills that will support you guys that you can do in a circuit type setting. So to kick things off, there's essentially three different, four different stretches that I'm looking for. So um, for this one, for this particular upper body one, you're gonna want a dowel rod. You can also do this with a band and I'll show you how. But if you come over here, all you'll need is a wall. So for the first one, so let's start over. So for the first one, there's typically four different stretches that I'm looking for. Lats, pec minor, bicep, right? And then shoulder internal and external rotation. That's really what I'm focused on. So for the first one for lats, you can do this against a rack, a squat rack, but really what you're trying to focus on either, either you can perform a lat stretch by putting your hand here, drawing this arm back, driving your armpit towards that center or right in that corner of that wall, really stretching the lats. Another variation of the static stretch is by placing your hands right at eye level, getting your feet set right back and being able to drive the armpits down again. And that also works thoracic extension when you perform that one. The second one will be a pec minor. Now there's two ways to do this. You can do this against the wall, against the rack, against the door, uh, <clears throat> in the so inside of a door. Another one to do this is just simply on the ground. So you wanna go 90 degrees at the elbow. You wanna cross this arm over and you wanna be able to try to reach and pull your chest away from here. I like to go a couple different angles where you can drive the elbow about 90 degrees, then raise it up a little bit and perform the same thing driving away. If you wanna increase by driving the hand out, you can. Here. So increase by pulling the hand in, decrease by pulling the hand out, and just stretch that pec minor right there. Number three will be the bicep stretch, essentially where we just put the hand here, look away, drive away from here, just like that. Number four, shoulder aptly, essentially what we do. This is actually a test, but you can also utilize it as a stretch. Or you're just grabbing the opposite. You can pull up, stretch internal rotation, drive down with the tricep, stretching the tricep. And obviously do the same thing on the other side. Here, and then here. <clears throat> One I'm not touching on that you guys can often do as well is going to be any kind of neck stretches when it comes to your levator scapula. You can go here, your deep cervical flexors. There's a lot of scalenes. There's a lot of different stretches you could do with the neck, but I'm not touching on those, those just today. The next thing we'll go to is the actual mobility circuit that I wanted to share with you guys. This is gonna be all ground-based and you will need a dowel rod. The first one I'm gonna go through <clears throat> is essentially going to be lying pastors. Now, let me just preface this. I'm working with a lot of baseball players right now, so you might tend to see that there's a lot of crossover with these movements, but you can also see that this is tailored towards uh, a lot of baseball because this is their off season and this is a circuit that I'm sharing with you guys. <clears throat> so the first one is gonna be a line pass through. They're just gonna grab the dowel rod. Essentially from here, you wanna lock the elbows, pull your chest up slightly, drive over to the butt, come all the way back down. That's one, I'll repeat 10 of those. The second one from here is essentially going to be a Blackburn, where this is going to be a little bit more scat mobility, I mean scat retraction. They're just going to grab it here, thumbs up. What I want them to do, drive up, tuck the chin here, come all the way down, come all the way back up and down. Here, boom, boom, and down. And that's really just to retract the scapula. The second one, or the third one, I'm sorry, is going to be <clears throat> 
thoracic extension paired with rotation. So what they'll do is they'll just grab the outside of the dowel rod, they'll plant it in the ground, rotate back as they come up. Boom, come up and rotate back. Just like that. That's thoracic extension paired with rotation. And for the last one, they'll just perform wide cuffs. So wide cuffs, essentially people call them swimmers as well. <clears throat> From here, what they'll do is they'll just raise their thumb, reach all the way back, come all the way back forward and down. And down. And repeat 10 of those. One other one I throw in with a couple more of my guys, which I call pendulum. I don't really know the name of it. It's just here, reaching all the way back increasing as high as they possibly can, touching at the holster, coming all the way back, and then repeating the other side. Boom. Again, 10 reps each. Essentially what I'll do is I'll do anywhere from 10 to 20 reps with those. I'll repeat that circuit two to three times. Um, it will support your shoulders. It's kind of an overall good mobility exercise for your shoulders. That's about it. Just wanted to share with you guys what I'm doing with them on their deload. Hopefully it can support some of you guys and uh, I'll catch you guys next time.